Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to Iron Dino. Today we've got Games of Golf for your Double Kick Heroes. I'm here with Sean. Yo! And, yeah, so have you have you played much of this, dude? Yeah, I put in about 20 minutes earlier today. I got the, um, I got the size of it. It's quite enjoyable. What do you think? Yeah, it's it's enjoyable but the the way it's been i've got a slight bit of issue with the way it's been set up and uh we'll, we'll get into that but basically it's um it's a side well <laughs> how would you describe this actually <laughs> i want to ask you because i'm not, i'm a bit confused oh, it's just a, a rhythm action game just yeah the the yeah, it... trappings around it are that of you're driving in a car away from uh, oncoming enemies, like um, whatever you want to call it, uh, like a tower defense or something like that. But it is strictly yeah. a ry rhythm action game because that's the only way you're actually interacting. One thing it yes. did fo take me a little while to get my head around is because um, obviously you're going to look at the bottom for instruction on what to do. So you're not looking yes. at the top. And then you realise that there's a low and a high attack from the enemies. Yeah. You can quite quickly realise that actually you've not been paying enough attention and someone's almost got you. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah, that's the issue I have. It's like the, the whole game, your interaction is on the lower half of the screen. Even though what the actual game is like just a side-scrolling, like shoot them kind of thing. But... Yeah, as you say, it's, it's the actual game itself is just the rhythm part, so you can sort of get a bit detached from what's going on on the in the actual game, and it, it almost to me feels like I'm playing a separate game kind of thing. Just yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's, no, it's very I, weird. absolutely, I can I can see that because yeah, it it's hard to especially when you get a few levels in and there's a lot more buttons to pressing, you don't necessarily have time to look at the top screen, so you're not enjoying that at all. You're just looking at this one little bar. Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. So I'm not, I'm not too keen on that side of things, but the actual rhythm of it is, uh, is quite good. And they've got this toggle thing later on that you can move the car up and down, or you can li leave it set to auto, um, so it automatically moves up and down and dodges uh, anything on coming. Now, I tried toggling it off, but <laughs> with pressing all the buttons as well, as we've just said, trying to concentrate on where you're driving at the same time as pressing all these buttons that are flying across the bottom of the screen is extremely difficult. So in the end, I just left it on auto. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's just like I can't, I can't be doing that. But I think I think that's fair though, because obviously this is a rhythm action game. So for um, people who are big into the genre, they're going to want more of a challenge than someone coming at this more casually, than, like you and I. Um, so yes. it's nice that they've given yeah. the option to have either side. I mean, I agree with you with you're looking at that tiny bit at the bottom of the screen. I think um, this is just a personal thing. I'd have had that bar at the top and the progress through the level bar at the bottom. Um, I would yeah. find I find it a little easier to look down to get my bearings as you normally would with a map or something like that in a game than I do to look up to get my bearings. It's just counter to what I'm really used to. But here's the next mechanic that I really quite liked. So the better you do yeah. in uh, getting or in hitting the times, you upgrade your gun. Yeah, yeah. And it that. upgrades a couple of times. And uh, as soon as you miss, it... Does it go? Yeah, yeah it goes all the way back to the start. Yeah. yeah, that was a cool idea. Um, it's one that will piss me off the further I get into the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because obviously it's going to yeah. get much much harder. So it's going to be more dependent on you. Um, yeah, on you getting it right. But yeah, 
I, f I found this little uh, punishment thing the further on you go as well. So the further on you go, as Sean just said, uh, it gets a lot harder. So the the timings of when you've got to uh, like press your button down below become almost right next to each other with like mini gaps in between each section so you can't just like constantly hit the button you've actually got to pause for a split second before going into hammering the button again um, and then it breaks it up into like twos and threes as well with those like mini breaks so what you end up doing is actually just mashing the button like constantly and so you will miss and then if you miss too much, a little message pops across the green screen saying, oh, your gun's overheated. Like, and it has a go at you. And it's just like, oh, so you've got to switch to the other gun. But, of course, you've only got a higher and lower, so you, you miss the top. I did hear, um, uh, just show, just for the camera, what happens if you do get hit. So I left the top. And, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I hadn't seen most of these enemies because obviously I'm looking at the bottom of the screen so I hadn't seen that fucking <laughs> whatever the hell that winged thing is or like the zombie dog cops and everything yeah. like that. <laughs> it's like what the hell. Like I would, I would like to I would quite like to watch more of this game because it's really pretty and I like the designs for the enemies and shit but I'm too busy killing everything. <laughs> exactly yeah i mean it's almost a different experience watching it back it's almost like you've got to record your gameplay just so that you can watch it back to have a different experience <laughs> now here's that's something i was a little disappointed in when the game is starting so you've obviously put this in story mode which is what i did as well um yeah. when you start the story mode the, they either speak in nonsense kind of language for the start, but once the music is introduced, they do it in the they do their dialogue in the form of a metal song. And I was hoping that was going to be what you got between every level, but you didn't. You you kind yeah. of got silent with like a little na -na 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 noise, and it's like, yeah, oh, you <laughs> you kind of set up here, you set up expectations here that you're not following. I I found the while I like the characters, I like the talking. I found the the actual cutscenes really bland. Yes, yeah, 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 they were a bit bland. There, there were some interesting moments the further you get along, and I did show one of the more interesting, sort of just funny little quirks of the game. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it is a bit bland in between. I found myself sort of skipping a lot of the chat because it was just yeah. twaddle, basically. <laughs> um. The other thing I was going to say is um, we were both we were talking beforehand. We both put it straight onto the medium difficulty, which is metal. And yeah. um, I'm not entirely sure it's meant to be played that way because the game does start off with it does start off by selecting the easiest setting for you. And I wonder if I wonder if it doesn't want you to play through it on easy first to get the hang of it and then move down the difficulties rather than starting the list. straight in the middle, yeah. which is what we did. Oh, is this a boss? I see a big health bar. Yeah, it, this is kind of, Yeah, this is... I, I wouldn't have said a, a, a boss boss. I mean, it, it is, but <laughs> as far as the bosses go in the level, it is kind of like the first sort of a mini boss. It's, it's yeah... Fucking land he's, he's quite shark. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is the first hint you get that these zombies are being controlled by actual people. Um, oh, there you go. Overheat. Oh. There you go. Just showed you. <laughs> That's if you yeah. do too many misses, yeah? Yeah, basically. Too yeah. many misses, you're going to overheat, and you are screwed. But I, was, I just about got away with this one. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, as you can see down the bottom, it's thick and fast, and it's like in twos and ones, twos and ones, and it's, yeah, it's quite difficult to keep the rhythm. But I suppose we should, um, we should mention the actual music. I mean, I'm a metal guy. Yeah. So I was very much enjoying the music in it. It's, it's 
clearly it's quite parody of metal. It's not. It's it's doing metal and doing metal well, but also parodying metal by doing like the big high pitched yeah. voice screams and wails and stuff like that. Yeah, very yeah. much enjoying the music in it. So, yeah, yeah, definitely. I, I absolutely love the music in this. It's uh, it's quite cool. Interesting to go down the different difficulties if like, how much it changes. But yeah, so this is uh, this is one of the little fun little bits, you know, uh, the, like the in between bits. This this one actually got my uh, attention because it's obviously meant to be like, um, yeah, and yeah. she's fangirling <laughs> out. <laughs> Basically, yeah. So yeah, I, I found that quite funny that they introduced the character like that. Um, so yeah, so this is the first sort of boss, really. This is the first boss. The first proper Definitely boss. The first, yeah, the first proper boss that you get to, other than that cool little sh- land shark thing. <laughs> <laughs> I just noticed Which their I tattoo is an upside down Triforce. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. That's where it told you about the auto drive thing as well. So, I think it's mainly for the bosses, because, well, you'll see in a minute, that the bosses kind of shoot through the screen, so you kind of got to dodge them. Yeah. But I found that too difficult to try and <laughs> manoeuvre at the same time. <laughs> so, yeah, I just left that on auto. Oh, you've half done him already. Easier. Well, that's that's not the the guy. The, the guy comes now. Ah. I think it's now. Yeah, that... that basically get these like little sub bosses kind of thing <laughs> there you go there you go <laughs> some like yeah almost it's almost like Mad Max type machine <laughs> and of course the button mashing is coming thick and fast so you don't actually get to look up and enjoy him oh yeah not, yeah, not at all <laughs> And as you can see, I'm overheating the gun because I'm missing a lot, and it's coming in like groups of fours at the minute. And then it keeps breaking the rhythm and doing a new rhythm, and that is, that's, I find that personally really hard to just adjust to. But it's part of it, so, so yes, yeah, it is good. I, I did enjoy it. And yeah. later on. Um, I think I cut the recording before I actually got to this, but uh, later on, you get grenades, um, and you you have to press the right bumper to uh, to activate the grenade, and they come above the line that I, that you're doing now. So it's like two different lines you've got to keep an eye on. Yeah, yeah, because in um uh, in certainly as far as I got it, it looks the same with you. Um, in metal mode, you're only using two buttons to start off with, using A and B. Um, yes, that's but it. It does warn you if you go on to the full mode. Because, like, um, the first one is there's... The first mode is there's one song, and I think it's one button. And the second mode is one song, but two buttons. And the mode we're on is one to two songs um, and the, the two buttons. With uh, yes. with extras, yeah. I think by the last one it's um, it's uh, ramps up again. I can't remember exactly what it said, um, but it's yeah, yeah. It, it's a lot more intense. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, so I've I've got to the stage where they've introduced another button, so I'm now pressing three buttons on the stage I'm at now. It's 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 just after this. Um, unfortunately, I. I had to cut the recording before I got to that, but yeah. So overall, what do you think of this one? Yeah, it's it's good. It's good. I, I did enjoy it. Um, it is quite fun. Uh, it's fun to sort of try and get the rhythm. The only downside to it, as we've said, is like you are essentially playing two different games. Like you, you're playing the rhythm game down the bottom, but yeah. if you was to actually record yourself playing... And play it back afterwards, you'd have a completely different experience just watching what actually happens on screen. Yeah. Because it's very difficult to try and keep an eye on both. Um, but yeah, it's yeah, it's good. I'll probably keep it on my Xbox for a little bit, but 
I don't know. We'll, we'll see how much it holds me. Well, what about you, dude? Yeah, I'm not a big Riven. Act- uh, I'm not a big Riven action fan, um, but I very much enjoyed what I played of this, and I think it's one I'm going to keep going back and uh, chipping away. At. Remember that one where you um, where it was playing kind of dance music and stuff, and you had to go along the oh. lines and stuff like that. Like I've still yeah, got that. Yeah. I've still got that on my system, and I still like every couple of months. I'll still go and do another level or two of that, and I think this could be somewhat something of the same. Especially as I quite like metal, yeah. so I'm, I'll just enjoy the music if nothing else. I might play through a. <laughs> I might play through an easier difficulty first, though. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to yeah, really get the yeah, hang I of might. it. I think jumping straight <laughs> into the middle one of someone who has very little experience of rhythm action games, um, I found it quite tricky. Yeah, yeah, I am now. Just after this stage, um, I'm finding it a bit tricky now. So, yeah, I, I might, I'll see how I go. See if, if I need to go back or not. But <laughs> <laughs> we we shall see. We shall see. But um, if you guys are interested in this, then it is available to download on Games of Gold. But as for us, that'll be all. See ya. Bye. <laughs>